In this question, we're asked to prove that for cosine x not equal to zero, the following is true. Now, I want to try and show you that you could do it both ways. So I haven't tried this out, but hopefully you can do it both ways. Let's start with the left-hand side. Okay, and I'm going to show that it's equal to the right-hand side. Afterwards, then, I'll try the right-hand side and try and show it's the left-hand side. So we've got sine of 2x subtract tan of single x. Okay, and we're trying to work with that. Right, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, maybe rewrite this sine uh, 2x as 2 sine of single x, cosine single x, and I'm going to rewrite the tan x as subtract sine x divided by cosine x. Okay, so I'm these are basically fractions. I'll try to combine them, so I'll multiply the top and bottom of this by uh, cosine x, so this would be 2 sine x cos squared x over cos x subtract sine x over cos x and now I could combine these so I'd have 2 sine x cos squared x subtract sine x divided by cos x, now the reason cos x can't be 0 is because I've got it on the denominator there then I could factorise the sine x from the top, so there's a factor of sine x here and here. Factorising that out, I have sine x 2 cos squared x subtract 1 over uh, cosine x. Now, you should spot this straight away. That there is one of your double angle identities. That is equal to cosine of 2x. And also, sine x divided by cos x is equal to tan x. So this is tan x cos 2x. And I think that's what we wanted to show. It is, and that is equal to the right-hand side. Instead, I had started off with the right-hand side. The right-hand side was a tan x and a cosine 2x. I could have got there. It's a lot messier, but if I had replaced this by 2 cos squared x uh, subtract 1 and this by sine x over cos x, so that a sine x over cos x, and this here as 2 cos squared x subtract 1, and then expanded that out to get 2 sine x cos squared x subtract sine x, uh, all of that over cos x. Uh, then you'll see that the, the, dividing both of these by uh, cos, I would have got 2 sine x cos single x subtract sine x over cos x, which is tan x, and this was uh, a double angle formula, we should know that's sine 2x. So sine 2x subtract tan x, uh, which is what we were starting with. So basically it was just the reverse process. I think the way I chose was probably the easiest. Then for part B, so let's take a, a little snapshot of this. It says hence or otherwise, let's solve this. Always use the hence. So sine 2x subtract tan x, do we have an identity for this? Sine 2x subtract tan x is tan x cosine 2x. So let's replace this here with a tan x and a cosine 2x, and that's going to be equal to 2 cosine 2x. Subtract this off both sides. So you've got 0 is 2, or actually the other way around, subtract 2 cosine 2x off both sides. So what you'd have is tan x cosine 2x, Subtract 2 cosine 2x is equal 0. Factorise out the cosine 2x, so cosine 2x, and you'd have tan x subtract 2 is 0. So two things could be 0. Either you've got cosine of 2x is 0, or you've got tan x subtract 2 is 0, i.e. tan x equals 2. So you get two set solutions from this. 2x is the inverse cosine of 0. And x here, single x, is going to be the inverse tan of 2. You're looking between 0 and 180. Calculator out. Make sure it's in degrees mode this time. And the inverse cosine of 0 is 90 degrees. So 2x is equal to 90 degrees. Let's draw our cosine graph. But we're going to double the range. We're looking, sorry, double the interval, looking between 0 and 180, so I'm actually going to draw it between 0 and 360. We have an answer here at 90, there will be another answer here clearly at 270. So the other one's going to be 270. And the inverse tan of 2, 
So inverse tan of two, we get ourselves 63 degrees, and you know the tan graph looks like this type of thing here. Um, and between zero and 180, there is only one answer, which was the 63.4. So does it say what decimal place is? No, it doesn't. So just put 63.4 for that. So x is 63.4. So all our answers combined are x is equal to the following. x is equal to, um, here we would have 45 and 135. And here we have the 63.4. So 45 degrees, 63.4 degrees and 135 degrees. And this one here is to one decimal place. Obviously check those answers by putting them back in here and showing the two sides are the same. Otherwise we're done.